This video shows you how to test transistors with a multimeter. Transistor is based on the PN junction, which is a fusion of different types of semiconductor material so as to pass current in only one direction. This is a symbol for a diode. And when testing transistors, the multimeter is going to look at these transistors as a couple of diodes. Uh, first, I'll show you how to test a diode, and we can use that as a baseline for testing transistors. This uh, meter is set on diode check, and it checks the voltage drop across PN junctions. So when connecting your multimeter in this way, this is your the negative or the black lead. This will be your positive or the red lead. Current will flow through here, and you're going to find a voltage drop, typically somewhere between 0.4 to 0.8 volts. This particular diode has a voltage drop of 0.45 volts. Testing a transistor, when testing a transistor to a, tra to a multimeter, the transistor looks like this. It's not how they work when they're active, but statically to a multimeter, this is what it's going to look like right here. So if you take a transistor, and transistor has a collector, a base, and emitter. And the base is your common when you're testing it. So on this one, you're going to have the positive side, P, which is going to be the red lead. And you're going to connect the black lead to the collector. And you should read that voltage drop. You're going to connect it to the emitter. You should read that voltage drop. If you reverse the leads, then you should get no reading at all. It should be overlooked. Let's go ahead and try that on the, this particular transistor here is an NPN transistor. It's the ubiquitous 2N3904. This is its PMP complement, the 2N3906 right here. So the pinout of this transistor happens to be this one right here, emitter base collector. There's three fairly common types of pinouts for uh, through hole transistors of this type here. This one happens to be emitter base collector. So the base is the one we're going to put the red lead on here because it's the positive side of the PN junction. So base we'll put with the red lead on here. And we're going to read 0.66 volts. And we're going to use that same base as a common to reference the other lead. By the way, this was the emitter and this is the collector. So the base is going to be common. It's the center lead. We're going to read 0.643. If we reverse it and use base as a common on the black lead, you should get overload on both of them, which you do. And also, if you test uh, the collector to the emitter, you're not going to get anything there because you have no, current, no way for the current to flow through that way. So that's how you test the NPN transistor. The PNP transistor, which is the complement of the 2N3904, would be tested like this. Uh, so the base is going to be the pointed side of the diode, which is negative, which is going to be a black lead. So you're going to test it like this. The common is base is going to be the black lead. So the base here. And we're reading 0.693. And if we keep that center common black lead on the on the base and test the emitter side, again that's emitter base collect emitter base collector. Test the emitter side, you're going to get continuity there. You're going to get a voltage drop rather. But if we reverse it, we're going to get what we would expect, which is overload or no reading. And we're going to get no reading like that. So these two uh, transistors test good. This is, happens to be another type of a transistor right here. This is a probably going to be, let's see. So this one happens to be a PNP transistor. It is of this type right here. And it's commonly base collector emitter is the pinout. And so your common will be the base. So your common will be the base. And this happens to be a PNP. I was just able to determine that by connecting the black lead to the base. The black lead's on the base, it's a PNP. If the red lead is on the base, it's a it's an NPN. So the black lead on the base 
you got 0.55 volts voltage drop and from the base and this and so the collector is the center lead so we got base to collector 0.55 base to emitter base to emitter 0.55 volts and if I reverse them and I test using this as a common here I'm not going to get anything and also something to note here is that the tab on these types of transistors happens to be called a TO220. These are called TO92 transistors. The TO220, the tab, is also the collector. So if I connect this to the base and the red lead to the tab, I'm going to get a reading because I'm effectively, I am effectively connecting it to the center lead. So the center lead is has continuity with the tab on the TO220 transistors. So that's how you read those, and I'm going to do a couple of surface mount ones here. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is first show you how to test these in circuit. So the same way, you're going to test them in circuit the same way, but you're going to also potentially get readings uh, from other components in the circuit. So this transistor right here, I'm going to read, I don't know, I don't know what type of transistor, PNP or NPN, I'm not sure what type it is until I test it. And that's another thing I'll show you how to do is, is, is to be able to determine whether it's a PNP or, or an NPN transistor. So I'm going to go ahead and test different ways here. Got a reading of 0.7 volts. Black lead in the center to test to the right side, which is the collector. All right, so that's, all, that's also 0.7 volts. 2 in 3906 is the same, same as this transistor here. It's a PNP transistor. So we're able to test that. And sometimes what you'll get is you'll get lower readings than what we just got, which means you might be picking up a resistor somewhere in there. If your readings that you're getting while it's in circuit are substantially to the effect of there being a common base and you're getting higher readings when you reverse it, if you even got some reading there, but it was much higher than 0.7 volts, then you would be able to tell that that was still a PNP transistor. It's going to not act exactly like you're testing it out of circuit, but it's going to act similar to when you're testing it out of circuit. It's going to vary a little bit. You'll be able to tell whether it's a PNP or an NPN transistor. Another thing you can do, oh, and I'm going to also show you a surface mount here. This is a common surface mount configuration right here very common this is also common but for higher power ones the tab is going to be like this one the tab is going to be the collector so this is a common surface mount and there's a couple on here actually they're really really small so I'm gonna to have to I'm gonna just point it out to you then test it but that's one right there that's gonna be your base per this right here This is going to be your base, collector, and emitter. It's your base, collect, collector, and emitter. Collector is going to be the top, so that's base, collector, emitter, BCE. I'm going to test it as such. I don't know if it's PNP or NPN, but that's what we're going to be able to determine in this test here. By the way, there is a link to this multimeter in the video description. Doing videos like this takes a lot of time and effort. Any purchases made through this link Will help support my YouTube channel. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so this transistor right here, I don't know how well you can see that, but this is your base on the left, as indicated by that pinout I showed you. The collector is on top. So the base has a common, which is a red lead, and I suspect this is an NPN transistor. And the collector is the top lead, and the emitter is the lead on the right. So this here is an NPN transistor, where the base is on the left, base, collector, emitter. This tells us this is a surface mount NPN transistor. So that follows this pinout right here. So the last part of this video is basically how do you tell if 
transistors NPN or PNP. So we got the 2N3904 and its complement. I don't know which is which here. So basically, you, you go in, you want to assume, okay, let's assume it's a two in let's assume it's an NPN. So that means that these transistors here follow the emitter base collector pinout. So this will be your common right here. Assuming that this is an NPN transistor, we should get a reading like this. Or not. So it must be a PNP transistor. So you can start out assuming that it's one type, and if it doesn't fit, then switch your leads. That's a PNP transistor. I'm just going to grab a random transistor out of the bin here. We're going to try to determine whether this is an NPN or a PNP transistor. This follows the, this is a 220, TO220 type transistor, so it follows this type of a pinout here. This one just happens to have an insulated tab, so we're not going to be able to test it from that. We just use the leads. So it's going to have this pinout of BCE, and in order to find out whether it's an NPN or PNP, we'll just assume that it's a PNP, and we'll use the common base here as the positive lead. Okay, we're getting a reading to the collector, and we're getting a reading to the emitter. Now if I reverse it, I'm getting nothing. So that tells us that since the common lead is a positive, that it's a that it is an NPN transistor, because your base is your common, and remember you're on an NPN transistor, the back of the diode Conceptual diode here is your positive lead. So your positive lead goes on the base for the NPN. And your negative lead goes on the base for the PNP. So that tells us that this is a is an NPN transistor. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. For more detailed information on how to test semiconductors of all types, go to techcircuit.org and use the search term semiconductor. There's also a link to that in the video description.